Hi there. In this video, I just want to show you how you can get up and running with the source code for this course. Make sure you get all the source code as you follow along in the lectures. So if you navigate over to this link, this is our Git repository for this course. And uh, you can use Git commands if you know them to import the project into your workspace, or you can just very quickly and easily just click on this uh, drop down button right here and choose the download zip option. And that will download all these projects uh, onto your local machine in a zipped folder called Spark with Java. So let me show you how you can do that. Let's click on download zip and all the source code for this course and uh, some of the software that we're going to be downloading in this course is going to be saved in this Spark course folder that's lying on my desktop. All right, and you can follow the same convention, but just make sure you know where everything is uh, if you choose to deviate from that. So this is the folder Spark course and uh, some of the uh, as I've been recording the lectures, I've been installing some of the software in this uh, folder. So you, of course, may not see all of this yet, but if you follow along in the lectures, you'll get to the point where your uh, folder is going to look similar to some of the things that I have downloaded here. But anyway, uh, let's get the code onto our machine. I'm going to save it into this folder. And there we go. So let's head over to that folder. That's right here. All right, and I'm going to expand this. Let me just double click it and it will unzip this folder. And here it is. OK, and these are all of our projects. So rather than naming this Spark with Java dash master, I'd like to create a workspace folder. All right, this is just a typical naming convention for where your Java code should reside. So I'm going to click on this option right here. Go to new. Well, this, let's just make sure you've clicked out of that. We want to be in this Spark course folder and click on new folder and just type in workspace. And let's move in. Let me rename this here real quick. Uh, let's just take this entire code base and put it into workspace right here. OK. And in this Spark with Java, these are all of the Eclipse projects that we're going to be working on in this course. So I already showed you how to set up Eclipse, right? So let's launch Eclipse, which is right here. And this is a crucial step. Here is asking us where do uh, where do our projects reside? OK, and that's, of course, on my desktop. I have the Spark course folder. And in that folder, remember, I created this folder called Workspace. So in this Workspace folder is where I have all of the source code uh, for this project, which is again in a folder called Spark with Java. Okay, so let's launch this. We're in the right directory. You may have to change your directories depending on how uh, or and where you chose to save the source code for this course. And let me just expand the screen so that uh, it's easier to see everything. So we start off with a fresh setup of Eclipse. There's no projects here in the package explorer. So how do you bring in a project into this in, into Eclipse? Well, we right click and go to import right here. OK, and we want to import a Maven project because all the projects in this course are based on Maven. They're Maven projects. So expand the Maven option and click on this existing Maven projects. All right, then click next. And now it's asking us where the root directory is, which project do we want? So if you click on this browse button, you can choose which project uh, you'd like to import. So for this example, we could just import project one. Let's hit open. And everything seems to be fine. It should recognize the palm.xml file. And then just hit finish. And as you can see right here on the bottom right, uh, it's saying importing Maven projects and it's at 98%. So it's still doing some work. All right, you'll see the progress bar. And once that progress bar disappears, the project is fully imported. And here is that project. So if you expand it, you'll see everything that you need to see here. OK, so expand this Java folder right here. And the code should be compiling. Everything is compiling, so it should be ready to rock and roll. We're going to be following an exact same process for importing a project into Eclipse as we proceed to the next lectures and we work on new projects. OK, you should have all the projects now, but just bringing them into Eclipse you have to make sure you import it as a Maven project and make sure that it compiles. Now, if you follow these steps, you should have all of the source code that we're going to be using in this course. 
just make sure to actually type it up yourself as well. Don't just read through the code that you've been provided. That's a terrible way to learn. Uh, so a lot of the code we're going to be typing up in the lectures. So if you have code that hasn't been typed up yet, just get rid of it in your workspace and follow along in the lecture and uh, you know do sort of a pair programming exercise where you type as I type on the screen. That's a great way to learn anything new. All right. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you take a long break, let's say you started this course and for whatever reason you weren't able to finish it, you took two months off and you came back two months later, the code that you have may be up to date, but you want to double check uh, in the source code repository. You might as well just download the entire uh, source code again. Uh, so this GitHub repository where I have all the code, that's the most latest and greatest version. So with that being said, let me wrap it up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lecture.